Philadelphia Eagles arrived in town yesterday, Kylie, and the Patriots come today. Absolutely. Both teams are staying at hotels at Mall of America. Different hotels, as you can imagine, uh, security is pretty tight there. Very good. We'll check in with Kylie watching the traffic this morning and Allie out in the field coming up. The game itself is in Minneapolis. Of course, all of the Twin Cities getting in on the excitement. Super Bowl opening night is in St. Paul tonight. It will be the first chance the players and coaches interact with the media since arriving. Mary McGuire is there live right now. Good morning, Mary. Hey, good morning, guys. Well, like Matt said, it is terrible out this morning. It is very cold, but that's kind of a good thing if you have an ice castle. I'm here with Adam Johnson of Visit St. Paul. The ice castle made it this year. I know that its uh, future was a little bit uh, uncertain towards the start, but uh, a lot of things for folks to see out here uh, this weekend and in the coming days as well. Absolutely. Obviously, this ice castle, ice castle is a spectacle. It's already drawn a ton of people and will continue to draw people through this uh, 10 days of Super Bowl. Just down the street, we've got the Securian Super Slide, which if you're into some thrill seeking, you can drop 40 feet and go out 130 feet. Uh, tickets are 10 bucks. You get a ticket for an hour and go as many times as you can go up and down the stairs. Um, if the cold's not really your thing, the Super Bowl Flower Show is going on at Como. So if you want to get inside to a warm place, see beautiful flowers and keep the cold on the outside of the glass, you can do that as well. So just a lot of stuff going on around St. Paul. There's a lot of pride, obviously, in this state and in this city. Purple pride, maybe. And uh, we're here to show it off to everybody who's visiting. And what does that mean for the area? We know that the big game is obviously happening across the river in uh, Minneapolis. But what does that mean for just the area in general to have an event that as large as the Super Bowl? Well, it takes that purple pride and turns it into green. Um, obviously, our restaurants, our hotels will be full of people. Um, you come down here and you enjoy the ice palace, but you get a little chilly, so you want to go warm up and uh, grab some hot chocolate and something to eat. Many restaurants right right around here, right within walking distance. Um, those coming from out of town, maybe from warmer climates, staying in our hotels. I know our hotels are booked up this whole week, so it really has a huge economic impact that's not just centered in Minneapolis, but really ripples out uh, You know, from all the way down to Rochester and up to Duluth. And when you're planning an event in the winter time here in Minnesota, are there any challenges? We know that it was pretty warm on Friday. Did that have any impact on things or do you take the cold into a consideration? I think the people who are working like when it warms up a little bit, but uh, it does uh, it does impact. Obviously, the ice uh, sculptures got delayed a day. Uh, it's hard to hard to carve ice when it's 45 degrees outside. But um, if you look at the forecast, I think we're in for a little cold snap here as we get closer to the big game. So uh, folks are going to understand what we've got here in Minnesota and probably will be surprised how much we love it and how much we celebrate it. But we're excited to show them that we celebrate winter like nowhere else in the world. Celebrating the bold north. And let me tell you, there is nothing bolder than a bright purple suit at 5 a.m., ladies and gentlemen. This uh, this purple suit is awesome, and you could wear it to Vikings games. It's yeah. really multi-purpose, right? Everybody should own one. It's a Prince purple, Vikings purple suit. Every man in Minnesota should own one. Sounds like Matt and Jason have a little bit of shopping to do, <laughs> right? <laughs> I, I would be a little concerned, though. He should definitely get some earmuffs and mittens. But, Mary, I want to just let viewers know that if you want to go on the super slide in CHS field to make sure to go online and reserve a ticket before. I tried to go yesterday, and they were sold out. I was so bummed, but that's my oh, pro no. tip. Oh, it looks like so much fun. I know, yeah. so I might have to give it another shot here. But go online and get your tickets. That's what I would recommend. Mary, thank you.